What's happening everybody? Of course, it's your host Brink Young and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta, and of course Mobile, Alabama. The trophies are in the back, all 10 of them. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now, they're not just your TV set. We got a new face kicking it with us on Brink TV. I'm talking about author, model, entrepreneur, so many titles to describe. Sarah, Sierra, how you doing? Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Sarah Sierra. Hey, first and foremost, I got to say thanks for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. Absolutely. And of course, it's not every day that we get people from Baltimore, Maryland. Well, you actually reside in Baltimore, Maryland. But go ahead, tell the people, where are you from? I'm from South Carolina. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, in a little uh, place in Irmo. So, um... I love it. I've been traveling all over. I'm in the military, but Baltimore is right as I, and I love the DMV. I love Charm City. I love Chocolate City. That's awesome. That's awesome. Of course, I got to say shout out to all my people out there in South Carolina. I actually had an art, a artist on, uh, from South Carolina on the show probably like a couple years ago, so shout out to the homie K Bird. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we got plenty to talk about in this interview because, you know, of course, let's go ahead and get it out there in the open. You are transgender. Is that correct? Yes, I am. I was born a male and now I am a female. Now I'm trans female. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead, like, let's dive into childhood. Like, what was your childhood like growing up? Oh, gosh, my childhood was my dad was trying to get me in so much sports. You better swim, boy. You better jump. You better basketball play. You better football play. And I was good in everything, but it just wasn't my thing. And my mother was trying to pray it off, so I was very active. ROTC, sports gospel choir they were just trying to make it be like a phase and get it out of me so so at what age would you say that did you begin having these feelings like what age did it first first occur 11 i remember it like it was yesterday it was 11 i was in the sixth grade the way richland county is set up in south carolina we have a neighborhood elementary school and then we have the middle schools that consolidate together and i just told my mom like i saw a nice looking girl today at school and okay then i saw a nice little boy too it was like whoa like she was just not you know and i didn't know if anything wrong with that this is just me being authentic organic genuine so around the sixth grade is where i discovered my feelings and i started dressing different and i started acting different music was a big influence lady gaga beyonce missy elliott i wanted to be what i see absolutely so did you experience like any bullying or any tormenting or anything like that during school did i did i it was crazy of course and you know just jumping and stealing my purse and you know, I mean, it was just so much. And I'm not a fighter, so it was really, like, the help of my friends to come in there and really not only validate me, but reassess me and defend for me. So that was kind of like an everyday thing. You know, uh, my name is Sierra, but before my name used to be Sterling. Sterling got in fights, okay? And it was never Sterling's fault. It's Sterling got a referral every day. It's Sterling got ISS, OSS. It's just a horrible child. <laughs> horrible child. All right. So you did mention your parents, your dad, you know, trying to get you active in sports and involved in playing various sports. So how did they receive it, you know, when you broke the news to them? So what had happened was um, this girl said, you know, all gay boys love Beyonce. And I retweeted it. And literally my cousin snitched on her mother, which is my dad's sister my aunt and then my other cousin told my mom so i sat them down and was like these are my thoughts these are my feelings these are my opinions and you know they was just kind of like let us just hold hands and pray and it's just like uh so at that point i was just like let me just fake it till i make it let me just give me a little girlfriend i can go to prom with I call it prison time. Two years. 18 years. And I did my time after I graduated from high school. I got me a little boyfriend. I did what I was 
you know, trying to do as far as um, taking my Adam's apple out, changing my name, growing my hair out, shaving, wearing makeup, as you can see. Um, and I just was like, I, I don't like how I look. I want to change every individual thing. And I did. So that's what I did. All right, so you also mentioned being in the military. Now, we got to talk about that because, yes. I mean, we, you know, of course we got to talk about that. So what was that experience like for you? So I was in the Army Reserve. Um, I um, was a 68 Romeo. So I was uh, doing that because I had to pay for the surgeries I was going to get. Um, I has had six surgeries on my nose, my chin, my lips, my cheeks, and um uh, my eyebrow bone replaced as FFS, my back, my breasts, and then um, I'm about to get one for BBL. I did that through um, the help of my recruiter. Shout out to Sergeant Jones. Um, yes, doing Fort Sill, Oklahoma, then to uh, Fort Sam Houston in Texas, and my duty station was in Fort uh, Augusta, Georgia, or Fort Gordon, when Obama said trenches can come in. So, you know, when he said that, I took that as an opportunity and I said, I've got to get out of here. And um, the military experience was very hard because I had the hormones of the estrogen running through me to make me more feminine. But they were trying to, you know, pump it out. Maybe you're a man. So it was like I was dialing with that. Everything was hard. Climbing up the rope, doing the PT test, running the two miles. Um, qualifying with the rec weapon because they're looking like you soft boy like I was lying and I went into the military as a guy I told them I was a guy so they speeded my paperwork but really I was transitioning in the military in the barracks in basic training in IT so it was very difficult for me to um, go in the military but I did it and um, it was the best thing I ever did and I, I um suggest everybody should try it whether it's marines national guard go for it now you also mentioned off camera i hope we can talk about this no, but you mentioned shit. a lot of guys in the military they 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 was beating your dough down they trying to get at you they they trying to see what's up i mean was that ever uncomfortable for you or you know how, how did it feel when the drill sergeant said lights out and you know they got that flashlight you know Come, come in me in the latrine. I was like, oh, um, it was, it was, it was very, cause I'm nervous to talk about it. It's uncomfortable, but it also let me know that going into um, my transition, crossing over, a lot of women use sex as a weapon. So I was like, okay, like you know, it, it I was very much going from church innocent to vulgar and very upfront and straightforward now we're talking about the reason why you like me and that's when escorting that's when you know being provocative dressing with little loose clothing that's when you know everything kind of came about and it, it really promoted uh, me being feminine and it gave me a lot of reassurance and validation because, you know, when people tell you, you know, I don't know if I can say this, but, you know, you're a faggot, you're a tranny, all those colloquialisms and different um, stuff to tear you down, you definitely need something to build you back up. So when those women come in their face and, you know, no, he's not gay and he's with me. And I'll be the one to expose them all. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. I, That's I kinda, how it is. I kind of understand. <laughs> so let's go ahead and transition into modeling. You That's actually right. are a model as well. Let's talk about that. So I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. They had a uh, shoot for Instagram. What uh, trans looks like. And that is uh, from a male to female uh and female to male showcase from a guy i think his name is uh i forgot but i know his girlfriend's name and they are from boston and they wanted me to come down there to show diversity i was the first black face for the transsexual um 
movement. They gave me a whole shirt. You know, we, you know, participated in Pride. It was in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they asked me to come out. And I'm slowly starting to do some stuff, freelance, independent work with um, the Photo Chase, Blip Billboards, uh, pretty much everyone from Al Owens Entertainment. And I really think and believe that I'm going to win, you know, the Maryland uh, LGBT Socialite Award. So I, I, I'm doing my thing in front of the camera and off, you know, with going back to school trying to do like you mass communications broadcasting so I'm, I'm coming for everything and everybody i see i see you definitely working of course we got to talk about the brand new book it's out right now it's an ebook is right now available you said amazon correct amazon and lulu press baby yes all right let's talk about it so it's about me changing my instagram domain name from the cup 1994 to Queen of South Carolina when I became a staff writer for a gay magazine and I wrote a ebook uh, telling people how to transition because when I became the Queen of South Carolina on Instagram uh, so many people reminded me and humbled me back when I was in South Carolina whether it be Charleston, Orangeburg, Greenville, Rock Hill, Buford, Myrtle Beach how do I transition where do I go who does it Who's your doctor and how much does it cost? Medicaid pays for everything. I'm telling them about the clinics. I'm telling them about the the um, boarding houses. I'm telling them about the resources we have in an ebook that is a dollar on Amazon. And if you as a lending option, you know, available and you can go on there and purchase it. Or, you know, if you give me a DM, you know, I might if you're in the community give you a freebie. But uh, it's definitely a book with um addresses and phone numbers and it's a directory state by state all 50 states saying where to go if you want to transition and how to do it and i really think it's going to benefit somebody who is considering choosing this lifestyle as a trans woman or as a trans man or as a gender non-conformer or non-binary individual and it's really going to propel their life to be who they want to be one thing that I like to talk about, we talked off camera and you mentioned that you're not trying to be role models for people's children. You know, uh, let, let, let's kind of expound on that on camera. So I'm an only child and my parents are not really in my life. My mother's passed away and my dad and maybe we have our differences. I would love to adopt, um, you know, somebody into my newfound system but i got two cats like i already got enough like i'm not trying to be you know looked upon as somebody who you should follow because i'm you know 25 i'm just trying to figure it out i don't want anybody to be like you um you know socially influence my child and no 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 no. i'm a brand ambassador for lgbt entrepreneurs and it's um really great to step back away from the spa and wellness business because I, I had run my own business when i was 23 in greensboro and not have everybody look at you for what you do but really who you are they have parents there but I feel like their parents, um, it's their responsibility and job to uh, provide a, like the epitome of what someone should be. So I really think I could be like that advisor or that friend to really just provide information. It's here if you want it. I did not tell your child or I'm not, you know, pushing what I have going on on your child if they're not mature enough or if they're not... Um, you know capable enough to understand what the challenges the lgbtqia goes through but i definitely will be there with you 100 percent separate way when you have all your questions i will answer every single one of them now you did mention the business we got to talk about that business now i uh, love to have entrepreneurs on the show yeah so let's talk about the you said health and wellness spa health and wellness spa it was called sarah's daughter because now i transitioned into her daughter sarah is my mother's name so i adopted that even into my name sarah c ever sarah's daughter had the eyelash tag 
the bundles, the Brazilian, the 613. I had everything from the mink. I had my little furry slip vendors. I had everything from the green LED lights uh, with the XXX, you know, toys with the lubes. It was a, supposed to be a nail tech that was going along with it, but I didn't really get there. But it was just a woman's safe haven, a spa a v steam a reflect a, a real replenishment to kind of be a getaway i was the first and the youngest black transgender to have it at ash day properties in greensboro north carolina off eugene street and um i felt like i really made history with that and i felt like i really took my LLC to a whole new level. At that point, I was not dressing like a guy in the morning and a girl at night. I was no longer Sarah's and Ernest's son. I was Sarah's daughter. It was Sarah's daughter, Beauty and Med Spa. And I, I lived by that. So yeah, that's what I did. All right, of course you, you know, transitioned from there. You actually are residing in Baltimore, correct? Yep, over east, down the hill. So yeah. So what's it like out there in the B and B more, man? How, how is it? Uh, so Baltimore is like <laughs> Baltimore is is different. It's really different. I love the fast pace though. I'm in DC all the time. I'm at the harbor all the time. I'm just you know a busy bee. I be going everywhere, doing everything. They love seafood. They love to crazy leg. They love the dances. They be like two and Avenue. It just be like I just be like oh my gosh. The and they think I'm from PG County. I be sound a country to my thing, but it's just the whole. Colloquialism, the slang, the lingo. They don't say little, they say Laurel. Okay? They don't say I'm ready to call you, they say Ray. It's just so much going on, but I love that, you know, they have every type of person uh, from a Chinese, um, African American, and, you know, the LGBT uh, transgenders. We make up a big population of the city. Um, they have so much fan base. I, let me tell you something. South Carolina shares a team with North Carolina with the Charlotte uh, Panthers and then with the Bobcats with all that. We don't have nothing but Clemson and Carolina when it comes to football. They love, love, love Baltimore Ravens. Do you hear me? If you are anywhere near Silver Springs, Annapolis area, you say anything about the Ravens, oh, they would jump you. Oh, they would kill you. Oh, they would slice and dice up. You're going to be on murder, ink. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's dangerous, but I definitely have love for it. They have a lot of entrepreneurs. Um, shout out to Vonte. Shout out to uh, Jess Hilarious, Lil Scooter, P. Everybody. Everybody's there, and everybody, you know, just definitely supports each other. GMD TV, Dez. They, they, they're a big family, and they're the nicest state you will get because above that is dc and delaware that's above the mason dixon line you ain't getting no nicer than that i know south hospitality is not there they got northern hospitality they're not they're not finna stick do i know you that's that's what you're gonna get so you know i definitely know what you mean on that i used to live in new york and ain't no hospitality in new york trust me i know all about it now of course we got to talk about one of the elephants in the room we're talking about a lot of the protests that are going on a lot of the rioting looting you know over the death of george floyd i want you to just talk about that let me know what, what all this going on means to you well um george floyd what me and my friends do we just do everything over social media. We are very peaceful protesters. Um, instead of going out, we just inform everybody about, you know, seeing if we can get some old clips, seeing if we can just, you know, cash up and donate, Vimeo, PayPal, everything, just to, you know, have the family. We be in all ends, sharing everything's on YouTube from uh, Lovely T, Daytime Talk, everything and just really getting the information out there to other people i felt that what happened to him was wrong um i am black i am mixed all black lives do matter and i believe that you know what happened to george was injustice i, I feel so 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 uh, emotional about that you know i have friends in brooklyn that actually went to his brothers uh they had a service there too and it was just closed to the public so nobody really couldn't come i want to also say since this is gemini season 
Um, it's Breonna Taylor's birthday today. She was also a uh, Black Lives Matter victim. And I just want to say for those two uh, cisgender, which means they were born in gender, that they are today that the police um they do their wrong for that and um you know all black lives do matter and i'm not trying to take away from them but i will say i do uh hope and pray that their families get the peace i've lost a mother i know how it is to have an absentee there and you need that role model i pray their kids nothing but happiness stability and wealth i want to switch over to, to the transgender victims as well and also so have a, like a little moment of silence for like we did for George and Brianna for um, even though she did not get murdered she got severely beaten Ayana Dior and um, she was a transgender in the same city actually Minneapolis Minnesota I don't know if y'all know that and in Tallahassee Florida with a trans man who actually did get murdered um, Tony McDade and I want to um, you know because whether we are straight gay transgender anything um we're black too and our lives do matter and all every single black life does matter so i just want to take like a real 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 quick moment of silence on, on that so yes yeah, so, um uh, I, I just pray that everybody's peacefully protesting um, and I just uh, really do uh, want all the four officers that participated with George's death to be uh, prosecuted and, you know, incarcerated. So. Definitely agree. I definitely agree on that. Go ahead. Give out all your social media as well as your website and everything. That way yes. people can keep up with you. So it's going to be in my link in bio. I don't have a link tree. It's with the Amazon. It's like a direct click the link over for stability. That's actually something I struggled with. I was moving from place to place. That's actually the title of the ebook. And it's a great read. I mean, it's a couple pages. Find your estate and see your information. My um, Instagram is Queen of South Carolina. That's all together. No underscores, no spaces, no SC. Is you have to spell it out for real, for real. Queen of South Carolina. And um, you know, my name is Sarah C. Ever on there. And if y'all want to add me on Facebook, I'm really personal about who I add on there. But my name is Sierra So Strong. So that's that's it. And I will definitely add you. Shoot me a DM though. Because people be in my inbox all the time. So just shoot me a DM. Be like, I saw y'all bring TV. I'll be like, okay. i add you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I definitely got to say thanks for coming on the show. You got any shout outs? Thank anything before we get out of here? Yes. Um, shout out to Salon Suites. I hope I'm saying it right. It's Wing. Chester Road, right? For the person who did my makeup, her name is Lipstick by Tari underscore Lipstick by Tari for a soft uh, glam beat. And um, I also want to uh, shout out OG Grip. He's my friend. He's uh, from Memphis. He's the one who taught me about uh, yeah, Brink TV and everything. And shout out to Heinz Community College. Heinz Community College in Mississippi. Uh, Jackson, Raymond, Utica. We love Memphis down 901. Shout out to y'all. Definitely. I got to say thanks again for coming all the way from B more, all the way yes. from Baltimore to be on the yes. Brink TV show means a lot. And of course, you guys continue to support Sarah Sierra. Check out that ebook. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV.